Thank you so much, Sakura. I never would have found the crisscross moss without you. Of course, I know where it grows, so it's not much to ask. Though retrieving it has been a difficult task. Oh, but the oxen visiting Sweet Feather Sanctuary next week will surely appreciate it. It really adds a shine to their coat. There we go. Now, that wasn't so tough. Fluttershy, tell me, will this be enough? Gee, I don't know. It's a pretty big pack, so maybe enough to fill up this sack? <gasps> oh my, you're rubbing off on me, Zagora. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! oh no, oh no, oh no! <gasps> Zagora, are you all right? No need to fret. I only got wet. At least now I can easily grab all the crisscross moss there is to be had. <gasps> What's happened to you? Honestly, it's hard to tell, but suddenly I don't feel so well. <gasps> Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? All right, Zakora, let's have a listen to the old ticker. It's serious, Doctor. Well, that wasn't a good sign. I can't believe a flower did this. I take back thinking it was pretty. <coughs> mm -hmm. We're looking for any color other than red. Phew. <gasps> oh, it's just as I thought. I'm afraid you have a very rare disease called Swamp Fever. Tell me, Doctor, what should I do? I've never heard of Swamp Fever, mind you. Unfortunately, very little is known about the disease. Except, of course, its symptoms. Change of coat, coughing bubbles, shock sneezing, confusion, and the last stage, the afflicted turn into the very trees that drop the disease-spreading flower. Oh, is there anything that can be done for such a terrible conundrum? A cure has yet to be discovered. I'm sorry, Zakora. Hmm. It's a lot to take in. I'll leave you two to discuss. Zakora, this is all my fault. If you hadn't been helping me get the crisscross moss, you wouldn't have gotten swamp fever. I'm so sorry. Fluttershy. You are not to blame. These things happen all the same. I refuse to accept that. There has to be some pony who can help you. Oh, there's a healer of legend who never would fail. But I only know her from ancient folk tales. Mystical and masked, she came in the night and cured everything from hoof cough to fur blight. What became of the healer, no pony knows, for she disappeared ages and ages ago. The mystical mask, of course! My parents would tell me about it whenever I was sick in bed. There's so many accounts of her power to heal. She can't just be a legend. I think she's real. If that's who we need to cure you, then I'm going to find her. And I know just the pony who can help. <sighs> Twilight? Twilight! Twilight! Oh, I'm so sorry to bother. Are... Are you cooking? Yeah, Spike and I are having a cook-off. My cauliflower bites blew her sweet potato muffins out of the water. I'm glad you're here, Fluttershy, because we're going to need a second opinion about that. Ugh. <clears throat> um, they're both delicious, but Sakura has 
swamp fever and there's no cure and it's all my fault and the only pony can cure is the mystical mask and I need your help to find her. Uh... So what'd she pick? The cauliflower bites, right? <sighs> That's the last book on ancient ponies and still no mention of the mystical mask. Hmm... Did we check the unabridged versions? Yes, and the books on rare diseases, the books on rare plants, and the entire section on bog habitation. Well, we might have to look through every book in the entire library, but I know we'll figure it out. Oh. Oh, another dead end. Have you found anything yet, Twilight? <sighs> Twilight? Yeah! Goodness! Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Fluttershy, you know that I want to help Sakura, but I think we'd be a lot better off if we got some sleep. We've been at this for hours. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. No problem. I'll grab you a pillow and... Oh, no, no, no. I meant you should sleep. I can't rest until Sakura is healed. I understand how you feel, but I still think we'd have more luck if we tried again in the morning. Just promise me you'll take a break soon. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Good night, Fluttershy. <sighs> Nine by 13 inch pan. Twilight! Human stick pans! <sighs> What's all the commotion in here, ladies? Sorry, but I figured out who the mystical mask is. <gasps> you did? All I had to do was cross-reference a book about masks with another book on ancient equestrian healers, then use a third book to translate it all from Old Ponish, and there it was! Sakura was right! The mystical mask wasn't just a legend. The mystical mask was Mage Meadowbrook! <gasps> the ancient sorceress from Hayseed Swamp? We studied her at Celestia School! Are you sure? Absolutely! Mage Meadowbrook wasn't just a sorceress. She was also a healer, and back then, healers wore masks so they wouldn't get sick themselves. Fluttershy, I am so incredibly proud of you for using your research skills to figure this out. But Meadowbrook lived ages ago, and didn't she disappear? Mm-hmm. But if we go to Hayseed Swamp, maybe we can find something she left behind. Something that could lead to a cure. It seems like a long shot, but I guess it's possible. <laughs> We have to try. I've got a route all planned out, and on the way we can check up on Zakora and then... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're leaving now? Of course. Every second we spend waiting is a second Zakora is coughing bubbles. But Fluttershy, you haven't slept, and that's a long journey. There's no use trying to talk me out of this, Twilight. We've got no time to waste. Can we at least grab some breakfast? I packed cauliflower bites. Aw, no sweet potato muffins. I, uh... Ate them all. They were actually really good. And that's when I realized the mystical mask was actually Mage Meadowbrook. <coughs> that's marvelous, Fluttershy. I am quite impressed. While you're gone on your journey, I'll try not to be worried. <gasps> oh no! Sakura, you didn't rhyme. We must be getting worse. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Something, something small? <gasps> <gasps> That's it. We have to go now. Lead the way, Fluttershy. Meadowbrook lived. I'm not sure. Maybe there's some pony we can ask. I think we might be the only ponies here. Wait! I recognize that tree! Oh, yes! This has to be it! It's just like the illustrations of her home! Any pony who lives in a tree is okay by me. The doorway is sealed up. We just have to dig our way in. Back up, Twilight! I don't want you to get hurt! Or 
sure we could try the handle. <laughs> it really blends in with the bark. Easy to miss. Wow, it looks like this place has been abandoned for years. <gasps> Twilight, look! It's the same kind of lily pad that gave Zakora swamp fever. Hmm. I wonder if Meadowbrook was looking for a cure for swamp fever, too. <gasps> Do you think she found it? I hope so, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You're making your excited squeaking noise. Uh, I wasn't making my excited squeaking noise. Y'all can stop screaming now. Didn't mean to scare you. I do that a lot. Scare ponies or rock creepily in the dark? Well, both, I suppose. Name's Cattail. Pleased to meet you. Likewise, but, um, may I ask, why are you in Mage Meadowbrook's home? Oh, I take care of the place. I ain't much of a cleaner, but from what I hear, my kin wasn't either, so I doubt they'd mind a few cobwebs in our ancestral home. <gasps> You're related to Mage Meadowbrook? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, Twilight, we did it! Not only did we find Mage Meadowbrook's old house, we actually found one of her descendants! Honestly, I would not have guessed it. So you're looking for some kind of cure, huh? Well, now, I know Meadowbrook was known to always be writing in the journals. If she had the cure you want, I reckon that's where it'd be. Come on, I'll show you the library. Library? Now we're talking! Oh, well, <laughs> libraries come in all shapes and sizes. This is good. It'll take us less time to go through everything. Today, my mom made me eat peas. Peas are yucky. And we can probably skip this one. Unless she found a cure when she was a fool. I met a colt today. He pulled my mane, so I put a frog on his head. Also not helpful. But I do kind of want to see where it goes. <sighs> Wait! Listen to this! Today, I tried again to brew an unsniffle elixir. And I finally got it right. <sighs> Metalbrook, I think it's time you had this. My very own healer's mask. You think I'm ready, Mother? Mm-hmm. What calls this? Mother calls it swamp fever. We've been trying to find a cure, but it hasn't been easy. <coughs> the fever spread like wildfire. <coughs> I fear if we don't find a cure soon, Everpony will be in grave danger. With Mother sick, I didn't think I'd ever find a cure. But staring at those cursed flowers today, I saw something. <gasps> Flash bees! I realized the flower's poison didn't affect the flash bees, and if they were immune to swamp fever, their honey could be the cure! gonna get it.
And she did just that. Right up till she disappeared without a trace. So all we have to do is find those aggressive flash bees and get them to give us their honey. Of course, it doesn't say how she did that. What? Is my mane messy? I know I haven't slept in a while, but... <gasps> oh no! I've caught swamp fever! Sure, these are necessary. What? I said, are you sure these are necessary? Yes! I won't risk infecting you or Cattail. What you can't risk is getting any sicker. If you don't rest, your symptoms will only get worse. <laughs> mm hmm. You really should rest up before going up against those flash bees. They are nasty critters. Um, you don't know this about me, but I'm pretty good with animals. And besides, Dogtail, Cat tail. Um, Zakora is counting on me. I have to help her, just like Meadowbrook helped her mother and all those Bayou ponies long ago. But Fluttershy, as much as Meadowbrook took care of other ponies, I'm sure she also took care of herself. You're not gonna change my mind, Twilight! Ooh, being sick, she sure is strong. <laughs> the Flash Beehive is just up yonder. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? No, it's too dangerous, Twilight. Besides, I've already gotten one friend hurt. I won't let it happen to another. Whew. Okay, Fluttershy, you can do this. <coughs> Mind over matter. Bees, I was hoping I could get some of your honey. Oh, I see. You don't let others have any. Well, I'm sorry, but I really need it. I didn't want it to have to come to this, but I'll just have to use the stand. you're okay. You're still in Meadowbrook's tree. You fainted, but Twilight shot some magic up and caught you. It was crazy. Goodness gracious. <coughs> Have you heard from Zakora? Is she okay? Uh, we got word your zebra friend has started sprouting leaves. She's already turning into a tree? I thought we'd have more time. Actually, you've been asleep for three days. Three days? Mm-hmm. You were asleep so long, we were afraid you wouldn't be able to move when you woke up. But thankfully, you just wore yourself down. Oh, dear. We have to get back to the hive. I've wasted so much time and... Now, hang on there, Fluttershy. Those flash bee critters are tricky. Cattail's right. I can't even use magic to calm them down. We'll have to find another way to get the honey. We've tried everything from disguises to things I won't even speak of. <sighs> He's been through a lot these past three days. Wait, disguises. <gasps> That's it! I know how she did it! I know how Meadowbrook got the honey! This is how Meadowbrook got the honey from the Flash Bees. She threw a mask at him? I wouldn't recommend that. No, the male bees aren't aggressive around the queen bee, and this mask has the same stripes that she does. Fluttershy, that's brilliant! Uh, <laughs> Whoa! Oh, there's no time to waste. Hooves crossed. 
Oh, golly, I can't watch. <coughs> Mind over matter. I think she's cured now, Fluttershy. Oh, I do feel fine. And this honey is divine. Oh, you're rhyming again. Welcome back, my friend. Thank you, Fluttershy, for all you endured. If not for you, I would not be cured. Oh, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have been sick in the first place. Regret is not what you should feel. Because on this journey, you've learned a great deal. That's true. I certainly learned that if you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to take care of any pony else. In fact, if I had rested, like Twilight suggested all along, maybe I would have thought to use Meadowbrook's mask sooner. <coughs> Please tell me you found the cure. <laughs> 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 